This video is going to be about violin plots. They're really just a vertical density plot. And like density plots, they help us visualize measures of center, that is the mean and the median, measures of spread, mostly the standard deviation, but you could kind of extract some other information from it too, and skew. And they help us visualize these measures of a continuous numeric variable. So this is specifically just like density plots for continuous numeric variables. Now density plots are smoothed versions of histograms, but histograms can be used for discrete numeric variables and continuous numeric variables. So it's more of an advanced plot because you really have to pay attention to the specific, very specific type of variable you have. But when you do and when you get it right, you look like a spot-on statistician. However, when you try to use a density or violin plot for a discrete numeric variable, uh, the outcome is usually not great. And it, you, generally, you can tell pretty quickly because the violin plot does not look very pretty. So let's just immediately jump into R and see how to make one of these. We are continuing to use the library ggplot2 for our plots. So you will have to go to the library, check out the ggplot2 package, and use it as a reference. That is call that line of code right there. We will call the function ggplot2. The first argument to this function is the data frame that contains the variables you want to plot. And then you specify the aesthetic, that is on the x and y axes, what variables are you interested in plotting. Now, similar to a box plot, for now, we are going to center all of our violin plots on the x-axis at zero. And then on the y-axis is the continuous numeric variable you would like to visualize. Now, I'm going to choose weight here because chicken's weight is theoretically a continuous numeric variable. That is, the weights of the chickens could take on any value to any specific decimal point value it wanted, even if we cannot measure to those specific values. So we're going to let weight uh, be our continuous numeric variable here. And then you just specify geom violin, the geometry of a violin plot, in order to get your violin plot. And I think once you look at this, you'll see that it's essentially a density plot if you split it down the middle and then made symmetric by flipping it over to the other side and pointing out pointing up vertically. So here is weight, our continuous numeric variable. Here are the values the variable weight can take on. And anytime we see big peaks in the density plot, that's suggesting to us that these values, just a little bit below 100, are more likely to happen in our data set than are the values with low density up here near 300. So what we're seeing is values near 100 are more common than values near 300. And so what we're getting is this long right tail. Now be careful here, this is a right tail because the values going up towards bigger weights, higher values of weight, are showing up less. So the tail is going off to higher values, just like it did when we had, when you normally see a density plot and you think of a long right tail, the tail is going pushing off up to higher values, just like this long right tail is pushing off towards higher values than there is down below. So this is an indication of right skew on this violin plot.